Okay, welcome to part two of the Minimal Cast. Here we're connecting Node and QuickBooks together. And I'm gonna jump right in here and what I'd what I like to do is make a new route um, where we're gonna find a customer by uh, their ID. So let's make the new route here. Just really just copying the above route. Uh, Got to look at Express, uh, more of Express documentation. The customer ID means you're going to be for the uh, slash. Um, the ID accepts a parameter here, and and let's just what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a console log sessions and. We're going to render render a customer EJS view. Let's just put, uh, we're going to put some things in locals, but not right this second. Okay, and with that, we're going to need to have a customer view. That's the customer EJS. Uh, and what I just did there, I'm using the emit plugin in Vim. There's almost an emit plugin for every uh, code editor IDE, and it's a fantastic way to just emit tons of stuff. So uh, I just did HTML colon five and then hit the emit key to get all this what you see here. And I am going to let's just do an H1 here, customer. Okay. And also let me just do, you can get the params um, by doing request params. And in this case, we want to see what the ID is. So let's switch over and then Nodemon restarted us here. All right, let's go to customer slash five. And if we go to look at the output, we'll see here, here's the five. Okay, and the sessions are undefined right now, but we need to change that because we, we're going to need to reuse um, the auth token to make the call each time to QuickBooks. Now, in a real project, you're going to want to persist your um, this information. I'll get well, actually I'll get to that in a second. Let me make some modifications up here though. And instead of express sessions, we're going to use a, a NPM package called cookie session because um, the default express se sessions, they only last for like 30 seconds or something. And they're, they're meant to work right out of the box with like Redis or, or Mongo. Um, I, I just want to make a quick little cookie session that's going to persist our information. But again, you're going to want to persist it to a database or Redis or Mongo or, or something like that. All right, so let's install the NPM package. Um, I'm in the example directory. That's where you want to be. To there, There's two, um, there, there's the main NPM install in the root directory. And there's also the, the, um, uh, the one in the example directory package JSON. We're going to want to do it right here. So let's do npm install cookie session. We'll save it to the uh, npm package as well. Okay, let's start up nodemon again. And uh, oh, I actually got an error because I didn't finish up the changes. Okay. Right, that looks good. Okay, so here is where things are going to change. And 
it's cookie session. We're going to give it a name session. And we have to put in a value called keys. And that takes a array. And that's for, I believe, uh, making like the, uh, the secret. So it has to look something like this. Uh, wait, I'm having a problem. There we go. Okay, so it should start up successfully now. Um, oh, did it crash again? So I got a bad token. Okay, it crashed again. Uh, let's take a look. I must have the syntax wrong. Yeah, I need two parentheses there. How about that? Okay, that looks like it's going okay now. It's running fine. Okay, we're not done yet with the changes. So what we're trying to accomplish is we, we want to save the OAuth tokens. So we're going to go to the callback here. And what we need to save is this. These, uh, I'm sorry, these three here, not the verifier, but the token, token secret, and realm ID. Because each time we make a call, we're going to need to have these available. So let's go down down a little bit here and I'm just going to pump these in here and you set the sessions just like you normally would in express set a session let's call it QBO and we're just going to do token Uh, I'm sorry, this is the wrong place to do it. Uh, let's do it. Let's get rid of that a sec. Th this is what we want. Okay, and we want to set it around this point. So l let me grab these. These three are what we want. Okay. So we do request session. Session QBO. And we can do token secret and I'm going to call this company ID this is the language that Intuit uses it's called realm ID on this OAuth callback but uh, the language that they use now is company ID so let's do likewise all right next we're going to want to abstract this out into its own function because we're going to need to reuse this exact initialization so I'm going to put this at the bottom we'll just make a glo I'm just going to you wouldn't make this global in in real life but uh, that's what I'm going to do here I'm just going to make a get APO uh, global function let's put in this we'll just return it and then here We'll just do args token args secret args. This is just going to match the exact uh, object we set the session with. Company ID, okay. All right, that looks good. Okay, let's go back up where I set that session. So this is going to be QBO get QBO and we're just going to put that object in there. And then we're just refactoring it because we actually want to use this up in our new route. And so let's go back up there. Because we're going to need to do something just like that right here. Okay. But let's just comment that out a second. We know that this works. This is a request session. Let's just see if the the session cookie is working. The cookie session is, is working properly. So we're gonna have to run through all, all auth again to, to get our, our tokens. So let's do that. 
back to start here. All right. And click on it. Let's get our authorize button. All right. Let's just see that everything went okay and there was no errors. Okay, we again got the chart of accounts. So let's go to the customer again. And let's take a look at the sessions. And there we go. Here's the console log. And we actually have the OAuth token secret is, is being held, which was made on the request. But here's what we're interested in. We, we want this every time. Again, it's going to be persisted to your database in the real world. But here we're using sessions and, and they worked. All right, now, so how do we get, uh, so our goal here is we want to get the customer and display the customer um, display name, let's say. So how do we do that? Let's go back to the Node QuickBooks library. He's got good documentation here. So we have a find accounts. That's what we're using for the chart of accounts. Um, there's a get bill payment. Okay, this is what we're going to want. We're going to want like a get because you pass in the ID and then it returns that bill payment. So, um, of course, you know, we want to look into the library itself so we can just open member in the root directory. Index.js is where everything is. So there should be like a get customer. Okay, there it is. And uh, that's what we're going to want to use. So we can actually just copy looks like this syntax right over. Let's do that. And let's stick that in the app here. Just make some changes. Params ID. This be customer. And so we're going to get the customer. We're going to put this here. Okay. Um, that's going to give us, that's going to render, uh, I, I believe this needs to be inside of the callback is what I'm thinking of here. So let's throw this into the, the local. We'll do customer, customer. Um, we can also get an idea of what is in that payload when it comes back. So what, let's console log that at the same time. All right, so uh, let's double checking if there's any errors. All right, oh, I gotta do this, right? I gotta initialize uh, the library. Okay, let's go check this out. Go back over here to customer five. Okay, it's done the request. Let's see what happened in, in the log. Okay, so authentication failed. Okay, why is that? Okay, we're getting our whole... Uh... Okay, let's read a little bit more here on why it failed. Hmm, let me, you know, let me try something. I'm just remembering, I think the implementation is wrong here on the sessions. Um, yeah, I believe I need to have that this render inside of the block here uh, because of the asynchronous nature. You need to be careful of how you're going to set sessions. So let's give that a shot. So I'll save that. We'll get restarted here. And let's go back and do the whole all off process again. Because I'm thinking the, the um, tokens weren't set correctly um, because we should not be having that, that failure. Okay, All right, let's go back now. Let me just see it. Did it do? So we got the chart of accounts, but that doesn't 
totally mean everything. Let's go back to customer five. And okay, so here, here we go. That, that was the problem, believe it or not. Um, you have to, when you're setting sessions in Express, you have to be very careful where the renders are. And uh, again, I believe it has to do with an asynchronous nature. Not absolutely, totally sure. But anyway, the, the, the request was successful this time. Um, so here it is. It's, it's a JSON return back. So if we wanted to get the display name, the display name is on the main root node. So we just go all the way back. But yeah, I mean, display name is on the, um, the first level. So we, we would just have to do um, on the view, we're just going to have to do customer. That's our local variable. And it's going to be display name should be Duke's basketball camp, right? Duke's basketball camp there display. I'm looking right here, right here. Oops, I'm not getting the highlighting. Why not? There it is. All right. So let's run it again. And there we go, customer Duke's basketball camp. Okay, so let's stop here. That just gives you a little bit more of a, a, a head start to what you're gonna be doing. And uh, thanks for watching and uh, look forward to more information as I, again, am desiring to get into uh, doing implementations with Node myself, though it may take a little bit of time as I'm an expert with implementing in Ruby, but uh, yeah, subscribe to the screencast or to the blog to keep you abreast of changes uh, and, uh, and tutorials and Node and QuickBooks integration. Okay, bye.